When I was about 10 years old, we lived in a home surrounded by an orchard. There never seemed to be enough water for the trees. The ditches, always fresh plowed in the spring, soon would be filled with weeds. One day, in charge of an irrigating turn, I found myself in trouble. As the water moved down the rows choked with weeds, it would flood in every direction. I raced back and forth through the puddles trying to build up the banks and as soon as I had one place patched up it would break in another. A neighbor came through the orchard. He watched for a moment. Then, with a few quick strokes of the shovel, he cleared the ditch and allowed the water to course through the champ he'd made. He said, if you want the water to stay in its course, you'll have to make a place for it to go. I've come to know that thoughts like water will stay on course if we make a place for them to go. Otherwise, our thoughts follow the course of least resistance, always seeking a lower level. Probably the greatest challenge to people of any age, particularly to young people, and the most difficult thing you will face in mortal life, is to learn to control your thoughts. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. One who can control his thoughts has conquered himself.